What's up guys, Sean here again. Today we're going to go over how to sell your house that needs to be fixed up without you having to fix it up. Uh, so a lot of people get hung up and just hold on to a piece of property that they really want or need to sell because it needs to be fixed up and they don't have the money to fix it up. Uh, that's not usually an issue. Uh, if you get yourself in front of a professional home buyer, uh, the way to go about it would be to fix up what you can. So relatively inexpensively, you can paint the house yourself and just upgrade the fixtures that are in the house. Uh, if you have a little extra money, you can change the paint or the carpet and the flooring as well. Uh, but those small uh, inexpensive items will really boost, uh, I guess, the curb appeal of the inside of the house and help you sell it more quickly and for a little bit more money. Uh, the second thing is to just play up what's good. Um, if things are good, like the foundation's great, uh, you haven't really had any issues with the house, uh, the neighborhoods are great. Uh, just be upfront and tell people what really is good about the house. Don't always just focus on the negatives, which is what we tend to do. It's our psychology to just focus on negatives. Uh, the other one is to be upfront. When you're dealing with investors and cash buyers who can come in and just pay cash for your property, uh, you want to be as honest with them as you can. They don't really care that your house is messed up or that things need to be fixed. That's what we're in the business to do. Uh, we want houses that need to be fixed up. So just be upfront. They will be able to give you a fair offer on your house based on what needs to be repaired. Uh, because we are going to have to go in and fix those items ourselves. Uh, and we'll do an inspection and figure all that stuff out. But it's just good to be up front. It builds the trust and it helps move things along more quickly. Uh, so <laughs> the other thing is to call for offers and wait. So after you have spoken with multiple house buying companies, uh, go ask everybody to give you an offer and then go with the company that you feel it's best suited for your personality. So people base business on who they like, trust, and uh, I guess connect with. So whoever you're connecting with the most and who gives you uh, good terms on your property and a good price, uh, go with that person. Uh, the last thing is to help people use their imagination. So uh, if you're selling to an investor who does buy and hold rentals and you're beside a park or beside a shopping center, uh, just talk to them about that. Uh, that really gets investors excited. It raises the value of the property once they are done uh, renovating it and getting a family or a couple or somebody into that property. So the key takeaways were to uh, fix what you can uh, relatively inexpensively. Uh, you can fix a few things, make it look better. Talk to an investor and cash buyers and get your property in front of those people. Be up front with them let them know what really is wrong with it and then play up what's good about your property that you feel is good about your property uh, call for offers and wait and then uh, help people use their imagination yeah i stumbled on that one but that's all i have for today uh, if you want to call us or fill out a form below on our website uh, we'll help you talk through what you what your options are with your property so give us a call thanks guys